Hi, Scorpio, I hope you're doing very well. Please make sure to watch the oracles that came before these messages because there's so much goodness coming up. So much like it's up and it's stuck. This is like pop your shit, pop bottles, pop off, do your fucking thing. You've worked really fucking hard to get to this point. There's six planets and the full moon aligning for you to celebrate. Like, there's a lot of like, um, man look, look at this. That's crazy. Um, hold on. Spirit, have a good clear precise messages. Block interferences and negativity. Return it to sender or where it belongs. Thank you so much. I didn't get a spiritual message either. I need to get one of those. Okay, so up in the corner you have um, fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, heavy on the Aries. You could be dealing with another Scorpio, a Libra, or a Cusper. We have the unseen in reverse with abundance and queen. You could be walking away from uh, multiple situations or people that like you feel like you can't get truth out of them. You can't get like it, it's it's darkness. You can't see. There's no like you couldn't get clarity. But something could be happening, especially towards the end of the weekend and towards the end of the month, that finally gives you some perspective. There could something could be coming out that you're not really expecting, but you are expecting it because we have divination with prophecy. Uh, like you know, but like something could be coming out that tells you like for sure like you could feel like somebody's shady but you could never like pinpoint it you never had proof but you had enough of a gut feeling to like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna let you do your thing and then you could be finding out exactly what that thing was why you felt like a situation was too shady for you to be around um scorpio 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 um divination prophecy fate Crystals, healing, and jackpot energy. You're coming out of the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords energy, and you're getting back into your Queen of Cups energy. Queen of Pentacles is fine, especially whenever it needs to make money, it needs to take care of the household. That's like single working mother kind of energy. Queen of Swords, I'm not a big fan, but uh, it's like Libra energy. Like Queen of Swords is a great queen to be when you need to cut a bitch off, when you need to speak the fucking truth, when you need to, you know, Tell somebody about themselves, or if you just need to be cold, detached, and fair, it is what it is. I'm, you know, no hate, no love, like, whatever. But you're coming out of that kind of energy and getting back to your Queen of Cups self. I pour into myself, I pour into others, I get, I take care of, you know, myself, I take care of my children, I take care of my lovers, I take care of my family, I take care of my job. You know, emotionally mature, emotionally available getting back to you. Extremely fucking intuitive right now, so pay attention to what your body is trying to tell you. Pay attention to the foods that you're eating, the drinks that you're drinking. Make sure that you're not drinking too much with all this cup and celebration energy. You could definitely be drinking a lot, which is going to be knocking you off of balance. But you got good luck, a lot of good luck coming in here. Um, there's a lot of people around you that probably consider you good luck. A lot of my Scorpios are considered like good luck charms throughout your life. I remember being in a car in my 20s with someone that just ran into the store to get something. And he gets arrested while he's in there. And by the luck of the fucking draw, and he was always saying that I was his good luck charm. And we were just friends or whatever, but by the, by the skin of his fucking teeth, the officer comes out, talks to me. I have a mini fucking panic attack. The officer basically agrees to release him to me as long as I can illegally drive the vehicle off of the premises. And he completely takes him out of handcuffs and releases him to me and like hides it from the store and everything. And that's, I remember that being like one of the main times that somebody was like, I fucking told you if I would have been with anybody else, I'd be on my way to fucking jail right now. Like, it's just luck like that. What year was that? 2010 so something about 2010 could be significant no maybe it was like 2014 anyway then you have leo sun um neptune pisces and venus and neptune and venus are definitely aligning coming up yep neptune with venus this is loving love and offering love and boundaries coming down and walls being torn down and pluto coming through to like shake shit up so that you can rebuild then we have a wave of power, uh, upswing in energy, good luck, and love with new love and falling in love. Like, I'm telling you. Okay, so you could be in a time right now where you're like, <sighs> it's like reflection. 
like seeing what you want. Does it feel like love or does it feel like lust? Pay attention because like don't ignore the signs. Is this just lust based? Is it just superficial? Is it am I just like missing the D? But is it confused D? Because confused D, bipolar D, will be turning you bipolar. Confused D will make you confused. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have the seeker under there, and then knowledge. So, yeah, conversations coming out, clarity coming out, um, truths coming out. Even if it's kind of hard to swallow truths, it's okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius up there, but for sure, going from this dark like wanting and, and longing for, like you appreciate your freedom, you're free as fuck, you don't care, but you want something to be fulfilled, obviously. Um, and this is going from a time of lack and not having and wanting and needing to a time of falling into. Um, from pain to pleasure, from sadness to sweetness, from dark to bright and vibrant, from you know, dingy and damn the luck to divine. And it's very beautiful. This is also coming from a time though with compassion showing up from being in like, okay, I, I like feeling bad for others and feeling bad for yourselves because what is going on here to, from compassion to passion. Oh, Scorpio, learn what is so yeah, that's exactly what happens when you stay genuine, basically. Not moving out of spite, not moving out of anger, not moving out of um, confusion, you know what I mean? You know what I see a lot of people do? Let social media get to their head. It, it, it's crazy because we, we've had social media for so long now, but it's like one post or one wrong comment or something like that and some people especially if they're in their ego letting that shit like take them into um the worst situations losing real queens or like real abundant people for some chick on grinder you know what i mean just stupid shit like that so some, that could be important for y'all in the cards. I tried to tell you guys back in May. Yeah, but you want something pure and genuine and like innocent in a way, but maybe not so innocent because anyway, yes, that that's what I was forgetting to tell you guys about with this full moon, especially for my Scorpios, it could be bringing like a lot of your kinks and fixations um out yeah up in the corner there's blocked capricorn and anger this 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 new or this full moon watch your temper you could have stepped away from someone out of confusion and and temper you could feel like this person's always mad at you but you don't really know why so you could have you know like just give them their space which scorpios will do like scorpios for sure if you need space we will give you the galaxy if you need time we'll give you a fucking decade literally um but it's like a lot of confusion to breakthroughs finally whether no matter which step you take Aquarius energy. But you have a lot of love here. Uh, like a lot of love. You could, you could have also been putting love to the side to focus on your coins, to focus on your healing, to focus on your kids or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, to focus on worldly things and now you're coming out of that and like going back into a more like emotional state, Queen of Cups energy. If you're already in a commitment, you could be stepping it up. You, a lot of my Scorpios are definitely going to be engaged by the end of the summer. Whoa, okay. 
Aquarius energy again. Leo and Neptune. Mars. I'm going to try that again. Yeah, you have to be having some crazy ash dreams right now, especially with all these planets aligning with the full moon. Pay attention though, because you're getting some kind of downloads. Like last night, I was dreaming about my son, and I was dreaming that he was getting sick, and I was, I don't know if something was going on though, because while I was dreaming that he was getting sick, or he needed to be taken care of, or he had a problem, he wakes up and gets up and goes to the bathroom. I like woke up and I was like, oh my god, if I hear him get sick, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, what the? But no, he just needs to go to the bathroom. So something about like a um a thing between you and your child as well. Somebody has like a child here that's very gifted. Um, they're very intuitive. They probably dream dreams and see visions and stuff like that. So pay attention to that. It's coming in for Scorpio. Yeah, it's like in your bloodline, ancient in activation. Allow ancestors to access and assist you. Queen. Some of y'all could definitely come from kings, queens. Imprints, lasting impressions. Somebody may be trying to like forget you with worldly things, but they can't. The sixth house, Virgo, Mercury, health, organization, and upkeep. Neptune energy. Hmm. Pluto, Scorpio, death, the underworld, regeneration, transformation, rebirth, catastrophe, major disaster, earthquakes, death, clairvoyance, occultism, spiritualism, shadows, ghosts, the unseen, the unknown. So definitely your energy. You might be like a little like below, like was it behind the scenes right now? Um, and then stepping out as the weekend and the rest of the month comes. Yeah, radiant times. You want some fucking fun. There's Aries energy. Aquarius, dreamy, rebellious intelligence. So make it have Aquarius North Node with up swing. Jupiter, Sagittarius, expansion, luck, wisdom, healing, influence, wealth, law, religion, higher education, big business, international travels. Damn, more Aquarius energy. So you're like out there. Like some of y'all are definitely like planning a trip, going on vacation. Somebody's going to another country, Earth, Taurus. Somebody that you cut off in the path like a long ass time ago could be showing up with some kind of news or something like that. There's Scorpio, Loyal, Taurus again, and Sun, Leo, the cord cutting. This is like somebody that you've like, uh, like loyal, intuitive, mysterious, reliable, grounded, determined. It doesn't have to be a Taurus or a Leo. It could just be somebody, I don't know. This is, Taurus is your seventh house of connections, so multiple people that you're connected with could be exposing something adding happiness making something like awake alive what it, this, that's what the sun does action confident passion ego masculine ambition stamina pride identity individuality royalty state higher position good health wellness vitality damn this is a lot of taurus so that's like three taurus cards in a row some of y'all could definitely be dealing with Taurus or just dealing with your connections, connecting more with others. Because Taurus is your polarity, so like opposites attract energy. Okay, what's, what's the overall energy and why is this blocked and anger here? Divinity and men, cycles of creation and destruction leading to 
destined divinity. So um, a cycle. Maybe you feel like something has a, a, a ring around the rosy and you got dizzy and got off for a second. <laughs> uh, I think I communicate. Communication, community, media. Somebody may be getting like pissed about something that you have online or something that you say or I don't think you care, but just be mindful because you don't want to put out the same inconsiderate energy that you're watching other people go through karma for, you know? Uh, Lyra Master, illumination, stagnation. Clarity will shine upon you again. Open your eyes and smile with new friends. That's definitely what it feels like you're doing. Sagittari Sagittarius. Free spirit, idealism, one more for anger and love. The Leo sun. Self-expression, creative, fertile. Okay, so some kind of communication blocked or going from blocked to being put out there. There's you, Scorpio, circulate, death and rebirth, sex, deep bonds. You could be working on your bond with other people or somebody else. Somebody feels like you're secretive. There's third eye awakening, Capricorn, and then Virgo, and then there's Capricorn up there, charm, analyze, intuition. You could have like, kind of like set someone's like uh, awakening off. They may not have been ready for that. That could be the whole fucking blockage. It's like somebody else may not want to change. They're not ready to wake up. They're not ready to change. They're not ready to have tower moments to rebuild. They're not, you know what I mean? And and especially for my elevated Scorpios, y'all welcome change. Y'all welcome towers. Y'all are death and rebirth. Like we're supposed to change. So something about that could be important. Um, you could be telling some kind of truth to somebody that is like with suppression ending. Yeah, I am self-aware, appearance, first impression, beginnings. Um, there's like an ending, there's the full moon and Capricorn. Look at that, I can't make this shit up. And we've got the full moon and Capricorn coming up. You're like... It's like an ending to suppression. Like, you're so fucking tired of the suppressing feeling. Discipline, ambition, persistence, feminine, mystery, reception, intuition, nurture, care, feelings, emotions, memories, reactions, instincts, expression, and feminine again. So, I'm telling you, this full moon is bringing, like, better times, I'll just put it that way, and uh, some bombs, whether you're ready for them or not, some like literal bombs could be dropped. It feels like you and somebody else feel like each other are shady, but block the communication. Turtis, slowly but surely getting ahead, bread, period of prosperity and abundance. That was crazy, the full moon and Capricorn like that. <laughs> Look! <laughs> no coincidences ever. Okay. We got the wheel. Indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Scorpio definitely can't do that. They're usually control freaks. So, um, you could have, here's you, use your intuition. Okay, so using your intuition to, I don't, is, is it you that's being indecisive or are you stepping away from someone that is indecisive? Here's heart, the great, hap great happiness. Jackpot and great happiness. Like, somebody might be dealing with friends and family drama a lot right now. Let's put 
Pluto. Grapes, exactly. Time to go out and have fucking fun. Great happiness and fun. Like, ah, oh, this is a beautiful energy. Lightning, control your anger or you'll be sorry. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Aquarius. Oh, shit. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex, but... When this card comes out, it doesn't have to be of the same sex. It could just be somebody that, like, y'all share a lot of the same energy. Y'all could also have Aquarius in the same spot in your chart or something like that. Like, y'all have similarities. You could look like this prob You could look like this person. Then we have clouds, temporary problems with Sagittarius, Jupiter. Yeah, for sure. Jupiter could be bringing unnecessary. Okay issues and then the broom new home new attitude that could some of y'all are definitely focused on that sweeping out any negativity to allow positivity in what's coming in with the new capricorn full moon unsuccessful outcome to a problem too much concern with sexual matters careful about that there's scorpio with Sex. You might have thought sex could like fix, and then it did not. Chair filled, someone new is entering your life by July. Skull hidden secrets can harm you. It's full moon coming in. Oh, look! July and August! Bringing wishes come true! Good for you, Scorpio. Stay high vibration, you know what I mean? And beware of greed with the pig. Definitely beware of, like, greedy people around you, but also beware of, beware of your greed as well. Dealings or relationship with an older woman and then wishbone. What's wishbone? Fire, for sure. Aries energy. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Uh, and that's a fucking thin line between love and hate. This is my first time ever using this deck, so let's see. Dust it off and into you. Huh. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Cancer Leo. I'm telling you, bad reputation. Someone that you don't, you don't have, they don't have the best reputation when it comes to you. Might be showing up, or multiple people that have bad reputations could be showing up. Caught a case, sexual infection, sexual disease, and rash, yuck. If it's not an actual STD, though, this could just be somebody that's promiscuous and you don't, uh, I don't see you cyber bully, you're being bullied online, or they are suffered from it. Okay. I gotta stop shaking. Moves in silent. That's exactly what you're doing. From move, moving in silence, but shine your light irritates their demons. Ain't that sad though that positivity can piss some people off, especially if they're not in a very positive mood. Okay. Scorpio. It's coming in for Scorpio. Flew out in reverse. Damn, caught a case in sexual infection, but it come out in the reverse. Uh, a couple things. Somebody could be coming your way. Carless, no car, car issues, repo. Okay, okay. 
somebody could have um, decided, chose to be promiscuous, so you blocked them. This is also energy, though, of you blocking people that you consider promiscuous that weren't promiscuous. If they chose to be promiscuous, they could definitely start losing material items. Damn, screenshot, getting evidence, proof, and facts. I don't know what that's about. I told y'all you were about to have some bombs come through. I don't, I don't know if... Thief, robbed, lost, theft, physical, or emotional. What, what is this? Why, what's this for Scorpio? Wasting time, stuck, no changes, and limited. Careful that you're not, like, sending pictures to anyone uh, for a while. Fake account. But with fake account, somebody could be just, like, wearing a mask as well not being their regular self, crying over you, sad, hurt, upset. This could be your energy or someone that you're dealing with. Some, somebody like wastes a lot of time and you can't get that back. Yeah, there's moving on, thank you, next. Like, I don't know, what's coming in? Grudge holder. Wonderful. Dodging bullets. <laughs> uh, Scorpio, you do have really good luck coming in. Though. So there is like a love-hate um, energy here. Uh, uh, but dodging bullets, blogging, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected from haters, kissing ass, bankrupt. Somebody might be having a lot of financial issues, especially if Romantic love affair, ego, unfazed, I'm telling you, like, and look, right back to shine, your light irritates their demons. You're so used to dealing with people that make foolish fucking decisions and watching them have to go through karma for it that you're like, okay, look, um... Too busy winning, exactly. But you got you got hateful people around you. Let's see overall energy coming in with the full moon. Damn, Carlos. Threatened, intimidated, bothered. Somebody could be intimidated by you, by your energy. Laid out, some, somebody does something over and over and over again. Oh my god, I didn't even know that that was a card in this deck. Whew. I told y'all, I told y'all in y'all's last read, y'all got stalkers that go through shit-ass karma always watching you. Damn, there's a second jackpot in a row. Damn. Okay. Some of y'all could be finding out about some, like, money shit that happened in the past as well. Let's get into the tarot's fucking late. It could be you that's in... That's in... Oh, uh, there could be an Aquarius holding a grudge against you. Crying over you and grudge holder. Maybe you, like, I don't know, screenshot. Use your intuition and screenshot are right next to each other. King of Wands. Yeah, you feel like 
maybe I don't know I just know that you're in a very like changing quick paced um, like wanting to be fulfilled energy I, I queen of cups stepping away from people who may not want to change they're not ready to change people that that juggle uh, things as well no no priorities sneaky manipulative like who's got time or if you just can't tell if they're sneaky or manipulative like okay well I ain't got time to worry about it and since communication's all fucked up let me step fall back for a minute queen of pentacles in the reverse Somebody's definitely having some financial issues. Yeah, they're like holding, they could be like penny pinching right now. Maybe they don't want you to know that or something. Page of Swords. Where's Scorpio in this? Where's Scorpio? Ten of Swords and the Three of Pentacles, damn. You feel like super betrayed. Or you did. You can feel like stuck or like a like a like a a time, a cycle, because tens are completion. Something is like over, a phase has to end. This instability, like ending. Um, so that you can heal. It's coming in. Judgment, karma, that's your energy as well. So you can be very, very focused on yourself. And then the universe, the higher ups, whatever you want to call it, focused on you as well. Temperance, angel, like angelic, masculine, feminine, like... Judgment and temperance, that's crazy. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or be on the cusp. But peace, like needing peace, the Hierophant, more divine, King of Cups, maturity, justice. Holy shit, this is a lot of karma. Judgment, good luck, temperance, the Hierophant, King of Cups, and justice. Um... Yeah, something really good is coming your way. I, I don't know, like, what you did or... It's, it's something from the past. Like, a certain thing that you did in the past. And whatever you did, you didn't expect anything for it. You know what I mean? Like, it was a pure, genuine, like, a, a loving move. Or maybe not moving in a shysty way out of love or something like that. But something really good is coming your way. Damn, the tower. That's crazy. Six of Cups. Nine of Swords. Yeah, something caused, caused a lot of anxiety. But there's you, like, jumping off this cliff for a new start. Queen of Cups, damn straight. I, that's what I was saying, getting back to your cups. Oh, oh, I cannot stress it enough, like there is a lot of love here. Maybe someone that didn't want to travel as well, because it's carless, which is no, no traveling at all, played out. And then bad karma. So, so not taking action, not like stuck energy. You know what I mean? Played out over and over and over again. That's what brings this bad luck. No, no action, stuck energy. Somebody could have wanted you to feel like stuck in a bad situation and boom. Holy shit. 
So some of y'all are already manifesting a connection. The Two of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Lovers. Some of y'all are already you're thinking about it. Thought comes before manifestation. Two of Wands, Two of Cups, and the Lovers. Like, some of y'all are already manifesting a, 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 a new connection or a better connection with whoever you're with. More love, more intimacy. Some of y'all could be dating, regardless of how intimidating you are in intimate dating. Intimate dating. Never thought about it that way. <laughs> okay, what is coming out of this Queen of Pentacles reverse? Ten of Cups. Ace of Wands, huh? The Hierophant, King of Cups. Mm -hmm. Page of Swords. Knight of Cups. Someone may come through with an apology, or maybe you're making an apology. Ten of Swords. Well, yeah, to the Chariot. So, taking time to be in your box, to heal, to get over something, to tend to your wounds, to take all the swords out of your back, and then quick forward movement, like especially by cancer season, the end of June, two of cups, like you have your eye on a prize. That's what you want. And when a Scorpio has made up their mind and they know that they're ready for, they want it, like you're not gonna convince them otherwise. Two of wands, you're already thinking about it. You got your mind made up, like, and anything that is less than, than what you're like, you know what I mean? Like judgment. The Empress. Y'all are like badass manifestors. Somebody may be sitting in some alone time waiting, but the the waiting game is what causes so much of this problems which cause karma. And then somebody, somebody could move out of spite from feeling rejected, even though you're moving out of compassion and love no matter what. Like, yeah, the star. Somebody's got a lot of fucking, like, growing up to do and healing, especially th for thinking that they could compete with someone who moves out of a genuine one way. The tower, somebody's got multiple tower moments coming to them. Like, somebody, they should have worked with you, not against you. Ace of Wands, <laughs> Scorpio, like, <sighs> all right, what's coming in for the Queen of Cups? What is the Queen of Cups? The Eight of Swords, reverse, freedom, not being stuck in your head, not being stuck in a jail cell, not being stuck in any kind of like, all right, well, fuck you then, and so fortune goes in your favor, balance and fortune, things being made right. Stop messaging me, I'll text you back in a little bit. Ten of cups. Yeah, you could have felt like a, like, from a broken home or a bad family ordeal or something like that to a good, happy, healthy, loving. Ten of cups, ten of pinnacles, fuck around. Y'all could do really, really good with an earth sign if this person would like not look at you as like com competition or competing or something maybe that's where the copycat energy comes from i don't know you inspire them but so many times i've watched love go to hate and admiration go to envy like not that they're envious of like what you may have though they could be they're envious of like i don't know
you don't care. You're like, okay, well, don't let me waste your time. How about that? It's a chariot. It's coming in with the chariot. The hanged man. You're like, fuck being stuck. <laughs> Okay. Um, judgment and the Empress. You're like embodying all kings and queens right now. Manifesting, attracting, whatever you want to call it. Judgment and the Empress. The Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're like a master at, with the Six of Pentacles again. Y'all have learned karma like your whole lives for times like this. Queen of Cups, Eight of Swords, Reverse. This is exciting. Good for you. Three of Pentacles, collaboration with the Emperor. That's what you're manifesting. If you're not, if you don't, if you're not manifesting like a new relationship, this is complete balance between the Empress energy, Divine Feminine, and Divine Masculine. But for a lot of you guys, you're definitely going into a commitment. You got new love there, new love there, new love there, and love underneath there as well. Like that's that's what you want. That's you don't want you don't want anything else. You don't want illusions, you don't want confusion, you don't want static, you don't want no problems with nobody. You wanna love. And you wanna be loved. That's that's it. It's fucking simple. There's death, your energy, the star, extremely fucking healing, and the seven of pentacles, ready to invest, ready to fucking celebrate. Good for you. Okay, let's see outcome for Scorpio. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius. Libra, Aries, Scorpio, Taurus. Temperance, for sure. Okay, so Five of Cups, Mourning, Grieving. It is what, like, okay, fine. It is what it is. Five of Swords, so five, five, five energy. The big change. The star again. That's that center stage energy that I was telling you about, even if you don't necessarily want it. Um, and then Seven of Pentacles, investment, deciding where you want to invest. Peace, the world getting out, expansion, exploring, and then King of Wands. Y'all could definitely be coming together with a masculine fire sign. It could be a feminine fire sign or somebody that's got a lot of fire in their chart. Um, they could have a lot of pride, a lot of ego. This is like King Dingaling, but if it's in the reverse, like watch out for this person's ego, pride, death, your energy again. Six of Cups, returning to a childlike place. You could be revisiting the past, revisiting old memories, making something right with childhood or childhood friends or people that have known you for a long time. Broken your heart, held back from you, and caused anxiety. I see closure to that in the end of anxiety and heartbreak for sure. Okay, advice. <clears throat> this is also like refusing, refusing people who refuse anything. You know what I mean? Like, okay, we'll just come this distance. And they're like, eh. Okay, we'll just come on this day. Eh. They, like, refuse every fucking thing. They refuse to move. They refuse to take action. They refuse everything. You cannot work with someone that refuses to work with you. You could have said something like that. Listen and open up. So, a lot of communication coming in. A lot of communication going out as well. I swear, my... my Messages are so fucking dry that complete Sahara until I fucking press record on here and then everybody's got some shit to say. Reassess and resolution, yeah, so it's big time of like reflection and then moving forward. It's coming in for Scorpio. Oh, shit. Yeah, surrender. Letting go, letting God, letting karma play out, letting. The universe do its thing, believe, like keeping your faith for sure. Stepping back, surrender and step back. Damn, Scorpio. And then it's time. Yeah, time for fucking happiness, time for fun. 
Okay. Surrender, step back, and detach. Like, holy shit. Slow down presence and align. Stepping back from something so that you can see how to better align with what you want in the future, what way you want to go in the future. Slow down is popping up a lot. So, what's coming in? Check in. Taking care of you. And then, yeah, keep going with comfort. I want to get... I know this week, this weekend's messages are going to be lit. Look, the beloved. Yeah, y'all are like in love with the idea of love. Beyond the ordinary and sacred. camping, somebody could be going to a concert, somebody could be traveling to a foreign country of some kind, somebody could be going to a festival, somebody, someone's going somewhere in the woods for sure, or in like a different country. Be safe. Failing the world, travel. Here's birds of a feather, so watch out for petty energies, gossipy energies, um, people that, you know, hang out in low vibe groups, crowds, but this is also you um, chatting it up, basically, getting together with friends. But a merry motive is my favorite card. Didn't I just say, someone is going somewhere in the fucking woods. You see, it looks like, like a campfire in the woods with like summertime Christmas lights. Somebody could be going to the river. Somebody may do great manifestation work at the river near water. Fire, working with fire. And body and soul. So this is like um, physical fulfillment, soulful fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, full Great and full film it. This is beautiful. Holy, y'all have like, <laughs> I don't know, like, this is broken open, but yeah, like a burst of magic and great and full. So the attitude of gratitude, bringing in exactly what you put out, exactly what you put out. Uh, this is like a beautiful lesson in karma, awakening genius and your ancestors, somebody could have a lot of native um, in them, but congratulations, like you have a lot to be happy about, even if today at the time that you're watching it, like it may not feel like it, you do, you have a lot of things that you're going to love, people that you're going to love, events that you're going to love coming in, okay, that's what I have, I will catch you guys in the next one, like, comment, subscribe, bye!